Hello everybody and welcome back to another Meals of the Week video. I just thought I'd do a quick intro just explaining um, this is my meals over the last couple of weeks or so. I've not had time to uh, basically do a video for you until now. But yeah, I really hope you enjoy and without further ado, here are my recipes. So first up I've got to show you, uh, this was my partner's meal the first time around. I'm really enjoying cooking um just kind of basic meals at the moment and it's just a bit more quick and convenient for us i still really love doing my homemade meals and i do really miss um making them as much there are still homemade meals in this video but i'm going to probably try and do a mixture of like homemade and just quick cook meals from now on just so it's a bit easier on myself but yeah, this was one of those oven dinners. So this was my partner's um, because I had lasagna, but he doesn't really like lasagna that much. Unless it's my mom's. He loves my mom's lasagna. <laughs> but yeah, he had a chicken Kiev um, and I just used some McCain's oven chips and just a bag of frozen vegetables in the freezer. I tend it's really best to keep a bag of frozen vegetables in the freezer now just because I'm constantly running out of fresh vegetables. So it's really easy and quick to just grab and go. This is the lasagna I had. So this was the lasagna Alfredo from Aldi. It's in their specially selected section. This is like one of my favourite lasagnas that you can pre-buy. That's made because it's, it tastes like really like a rich red wine sauce. So I really, really enjoy this one. And yeah, I just had mine with a bit of gravy on the veg and with the McCain chips again. So yeah, that's what we had for dinner tonight. Next up, you might see a kind of theme going on, but I was just kind of really craving like Italian pasta dishes um, around the last <laughs> couple of weeks or so. So I had an idea. I wanted to make a fettuccine Alfredo, but I couldn't find a fettuccine um, anywhere in the supermarket. So I had to go for tangatelli instead, which is just a slightly thicker noodle than um, fettuccine. So it's more like, it's basically tangatelli Alfredo. <laughs> but I made this with... Um, chicken and i think there's double cream and chicken stock and there's some grated parmesan on top and some parsley with some chicken breasts and then i just served it with a tiger loaf which i just cut up into pieces and we just shared that between us and then i had a glass of i think it was like the peach wine echo falls wine you can get to be fair we didn't really like the chicken in this it would have tasted a lot better without the chicken in it. So that's definitely what I am doing from now on. Because it didn't really need that extra thing. I, I reckon it was just perfectly nice enough. Just as a pasta dish on its own. But yeah, that's what we had for dinner tonight. So next up I made chicken ramen. This is one of our cool classics. We tend to have this every two, three weeks I'd probably say. Um, it's quite easy and quick for me to make. It only takes 20 minutes. There is a recipe on the channel if you'd like to know how to make this one. Um, but it's basically just like chicken stock with soy sauce and different herb flavourings in it. And then you've got coriander, spring onion, um, bean sprouts. And the chicken I roasted in the oven beforehand with some chicken seasoning. And then I plate it on top of the ramen. But yeah, my partner says... Um, I'm getting even, every time I cook it, he's like, you're doing it even better than before. So I don't know how that's quite possible every single time, but yeah, he really enjoys this one. So yeah, that's what we had for dinner tonight. And next up, we had mac and cheese for dinner tonight, as requested from my partner. Um, I made this with mozzarella and just red Leicester cheese and just made up a cheese sauce on some top of a penny pasta so again just a quick dinner for us tonight um this was actually really nice actually i really like this one um and it only took like 15 or 20 minutes to make so yeah that's what we had for dinner tonight next up i made penny ragu uh, this is a hello fresh recipe it's an old one where i kept the card and i just remade the dishes now and again um i did also search because I did think I'd lost my card at one point. You can find it online if you just search the penny ragu with chives recipe from HelloFresh and the recipe's online if you wanted to make it. Um, but yeah, I just did this in my casserole dish once it was mixed all together and just melted some mozzarella on top of it. And yeah, this is one of our favourite recipes. 
my only regret with this one is I should have probably doubled up the tomatoes it went a little bit dry just because of the amount of pasta that was in there but yeah other than that it was really really nice and yeah that's what we had for dinner tonight and next up we had a chippy I forgot to take a picture of my partners but we basically had the same thing I had a chip cob with mushy peas and a saveloy and he has um chips gravy and just a large sausage but yeah we just um didn't really fancy cooking tonight so we just ordered um a small chippy it wasn't too much money but yeah that's what we had for dinner tonight and next up I made these chicken wraps I saw this on another person's video and they used the bird's eyes um chicken fingers you can get to be fair I wasn't much of a, a fan of those I was expecting them to be a bit crunchy and they were kind of a bit soft I do prefer like crunchy chicken strips you can find but yeah we had these as just a quick meal again they only took like 20 minutes just to wait for the chicken fingers to cook and I just served that with some little gem lettuce and then I had some um it was like a maple and jalapeno sauce in some white wraps and yeah it would have been nice with um different chicken strips I reckon but yeah that's what we had for dinner tonight next up I just kind of grabbed stuff that I could find in the freezer so these were the Iceland um salt and chili chicken balls you can get these were honestly the nicest chicken balls i've ever had like probably nicer than the chinese i'd say i think they were like four pound a bag or they're in the free for ten pound offer and i just served these with some these were the chicken salt mccain fries you can get again these were nice i think i probably should have done them maybe in the air fryer rather than the oven and i just served this with some mayflower curry sauce which you can get from home bargains for about 99p but yeah so it was like a mini chinese dish i think it would have gone better if i had the time to make egg fried rice but it was just a quick dinner for us tonight but again they were so delicious and i'll definitely be buying those again so yeah that's what we had for dinner tonight Next up, we went to um, town with a friend or two. I think we went to the cinema that day to see um, Godzilla. But we were basically in our next town over and we went to Popeye's Chicken, which is an American branch, I believe, that's come over to the UK. Um, so I had chicken, yeah, the chicken, five chicken strips, um, the Cajun fries, uh, a biscuit and... Uh, we tried the mush gravy between us and then a Cajun gravy and I think that was a Biscoff um, milkshake and oh my god was it delicious it was like one of the best like I don't know takeaways I've had but yeah it was even better than K KFC I'd say it just it tasted the season was so nice on the chicken the only thing I probably wouldn't get was the biscuit it was nice to try it once just as one of those things um, but I'd probably say like here in the UK we'd probably find it a bit weird because it was just basically a scone um, dipped in gravy so it was a bit of a weird thing to have with a meal but I'm glad I tried it at least once and yeah so that was our Popeye's meal. Afterwards we went to Costco um, a little bit later in the afternoon and then we had um, we my partner was supposed to order I think he was having a hot dog but they didn't have any at the time so we all had a slice of pizza each i don't remember how much this was it might be around 1.99 but yeah it was just there basically cheese pizza that you can get in costco and again this was really really nice i next time i'll go i'll definitely buy like a large pizza myself to cook at home but yeah that's what we had later on that evening so then it was Easter and for the first time off in ages I was actually off work on Easter um, so I wanted to cook my own roast dinner like do it all properly. Unfortunately I didn't have a dessert which I didn't really think of at the time I did my food shop but we basically had a gammon for a roast dinner and I what I do is I basically boil this in pan for about an hour with some different seasonings on and then it goes into the oven for another hour with some pineapple and some juices everywhere so I did that 
I tried to make the pork scratching out of the skin as you can see but it didn't go as crunchy as I wanted to I would have had to leave it in the oven for another hour or so and dinner was already ready so there was no point so we just left that in the end but I did that with some new potatoes they were roasted with garlic and rosemary and they were really really nice I would definitely make those again and we had stuff in parsnips and then I did some Yorkshire puddings at the back there and I forgot to go pick up my vegetables from Costco at the time so I just chucked the frozen vegetables in the steamer for about 30 minutes and that was it all plated up and ready to go and yeah it was really really nice dinner actually I was quite proud of that and I just served that with some gravy on top so that was our Easter dinner. So next up I brought this mac and cheese from Costco. It was a little bit pricey for it was I think it was £11.50 and um, but it was quite a big tub it was about two kilograms so we had some left over for the next day as well so in the long run it, it wasn't if it made like two meals or so out of it for us um but yeah this is just the Costco one and you just shove it in the oven for about 45 minutes and then this is it all dished up and it was really really creamy and nice it was definitely delicious we were thinking of um when we do get married if we just end up getting a function read, we could go to Costco's for food because they had all sorts of like big platters of plate of sandwiches and just party kind of food that you could have like just displayed on the tables and that. So yeah, we're definitely thinking of that. But yeah, that's what we had for dinner tonight. Next up, we had um some jacket potatoes. I just served these with some butter and a tin of the Prince's chicken curry you can get and i just said that with some red leicester on top these were the mccain jacket potatoes i bought from iceland so they're quite quick to cook and they're still really nice and really like soft in the middle but you still kind of get that crunchiness on the outside but they are definitely more expensive than other potatoes but yeah i was just really fancying my jacket potato tonight so yeah that's what we had for dinner tonight then I just had this in the freezer. This is just one of those grab and go meals that I've had in there for a while. So this was the Aldi Carbonara Bake. I think it was £4.49. You can find it in the fridge section. I would definitely buy this again. This was really, really nice and very quick. Again, I think it was only like 30 minutes in the oven. But yeah, this was it just all served up and I just served it with some bread on the side as well. So that's what we had for dinner tonight. Then next up we had hot dogs and I'll tell you what went wrong with this. Um, they were meant to be uh, chilli hot dogs but I completely burnt the crap out of my chilli. <laughs> I basically like put the lid on for my chilli to simmer but didn't put enough sauce in there clearly and it just burnt the bottom of the mint so I only managed to scrape a bit of the mints off I thought I was gonna still be able to have chili hot dogs but clearly not so there's only like one hot dog out of the four that we had that actually had a little bit of chili on it um, but yeah they were just hot dogs and I just made them in some buns with some red lesser cheese on top and some mustard and some hot cheese sauce so yeah just a very um well it was what meant to be a quick simple dinner tonight but yeah that's what we had for dinner tonight then for dinner we're coming just towards the end of the video now so these were the Swedish meatballs that I brought I believe it was in my last food shop I did and I think I used about half the bag so we had 10 meatballs each I've got plenty of meatballs left for another dinner and I just served this with some mashed potato that I made with some butter and then I just served it with some normal gravy I do love the Swedish gravy I do have the one from Aldi but from what I remember, it, it just wasn't as good as the IKEA one, so I do prefer normal gravy. So, yeah, that's just what we had for dinner tonight. Again, just a quick, simple, easy one for me to make. Um, but, yeah, it was still really delicious. This was a Weatherspoons meal. I just basically sometimes go out with my mum shopping for the day. So, I just had the Tennessee double chicken burger with some um, chips and onion rings. I never eat the onion rings, I don't like them. <laughs> but yeah, it was just served with the Tennessee um, barbecue sauce, so that's what I had for dinner that day. So I just thought I'd show you what I'm doing for dinner tonight. I'm doing these um, 
Italian chicken breast fillets. I've never had these before. These were from Iceland. They were in the three for ten pound offer. They're out of the packaging. They just look like that. So I'm just going to pop those in the oven. It says they take about forty minutes, and then I'm just doing some do some Alfredo pasta with that. So I've just got my sauce cooking in the slow cooker at the minute. I just need to give that a bit of a stir. But for the Alfredo sauce, I've got 300 ml of chicken stock, 250 ml of double cream, garlic powder, paprika, salt and pepper in there. Um, and then I added some mustard and I added some more fresh garlic in there with some butter and parsley. And yeah, I'm just literally letting that sit and melt for about an hour. So that's um, all done and melted. I'm then just going to pop my penny in for about 30 minutes afterwards in there and then I'm just going to let that cook through. So that was it all dished up. I forgot to say when I was doing the slow cooker video that I added mozzarella cheese and parmesan cheese into the slow cooker as well. So don't forget that if you do are going to make it. Um, the pasta was really, really nice. I wasn't that keen on the tomato chicken breast. We kind of only eat half of one each. They were really rich in like tomato flavour and I couldn't really taste much else. So it depends if you like a strong tomato flavour, then you would really like this. But I prefer to have a more like garlicky and herb taste to my chicken breast as well. So I wouldn't personally buy these again i would make them myself at home i think i could make a better tomato sauce but yeah the pasta dish though that was really really nice and i would 100 percent um make that again in in the slow cut i'd probably leave my pasta a little bit longer than because um most recipes i find it says to leave the pasta in for 30 minutes i don't know if mine's like a low wattage or that but i have to leave my pasta in for about an hour i find but yeah, that's what we had for dinner tonight. And that's the end of my Meals of the Week video. And I hope you all enjoyed my little video. And take care. See you again soon.